I will not tell too much about la referencia past and technological things because many people I saw that saw some of the presentation. So I will take this opportunity to look what are our doubts, uh, the things that we are thinking and we are not absolutely sure. And with a warning, uh, it's always difficult that saying that this is Latin America and I represent Latin America. It's too huge, it's too difficult. So I will try to say this is what we think, this is what I think, <laughs> and of course there are differences. And the logo was because of that, is many colors, is that represent that, a lot of diversity, and uh, many vision. <laughs> okay, so saying about La Referencia, just a few words that are a little bit different is uh, uh, public funders are the creators mainly of, uh, so that defines certain identity and priorities. And uh, uh, every document from OECD, uh, who spent what at the end in Latin America, governments, finance, research, and development. That's a difference regarding other continent. So the point is to make everything that's funded with public taxes should be open access. That's it. That's the principle. It's, uh, it's quite simple. These are the ministries, some of them or governments, some of them manage the infrastructure. They have their own nodes, like in Argentina, like in Brazil. In other, they work with NRENs, like in Colombia, uh, in Costa Rica with the Council of Deans. So it depends on the configuration of the country. It's, but we have general agreements on how to operate, and with support also, and initiative support from Red Clara. We, will, we do three things, and I believe that I don't want to do more things. So it's just just, just just, sufficient. I don't want to cover more areas <laughs> in this story. But basically, and I tried, it took time, is technology, harvester, basically, and development on harvester, guidelines, an application profile of metadata. And that part that looks like agreement is an important part to agree among us in the council about the priorities. You, we are talking about eight governments, some of them with different views, and I think that that takes time, but it's also some, in some way a strength when you take a decision. The next generation, and I, and I, will, I will take the time, when, I'm in aim, when you have to stop, you just stop me, huh? like, like that, no, please. We develop a system that is decentralized. So the national node is the same in the country. So if we have to change something. If tomorrow uh, disappear one of the nodes, technically any of the nodes can take the uh, job. That is, uh, that is a strength also, uh, maybe you sleep safer that uh, it, this will continue at certain level, but it takes a lot of support <laughs> at the same time. We give specific support to each country. As in this, this last two things, as you know, we participated in the Open Air project, in the Open Air 2020, with the issue of guidelines, adoption, adaptation, harmonization, and that's why was a very good relation, and now we are in this area of working and using similar guidelines or the open air guidelines. We will focus the next year, and this is the past, it's over. Um, we will focus on two pilots, that is common statistic, we need it. So we will be part of that pilot. We need to have to measure the same. <laughs> and it seems basic, but that's needed. Continuously work on the version of the guidelines. So go to 4.0, implement our technology. It will take time, but we will do it from here to the end of the year to have a, at least at the national node that capability and system of verification. Okay, that was the presentation of reference. Open science. This word, open science, cloud, everything. We have a meeting and we, we prepare a document, a kind of a, what we are going to do about it. And it's not that it's everything that has to be done. It's 
what we can see from our history that we can do <laughs> uh, with some priorities. And we presented that it was the first scientific uh, data management workshop in Brazil. Uh, many data repositories were there discussing how to deal. And uh, the points are the following. Um, I will not say what is open science. We know that there are, but our look is basically as a public good. And um, it's, as, it's, not a, it's not an end, it's a process. There are, and if you talk about public good, you're talking about infrastructure, open code, governance model, economies of scale and scope. How we place that? Uh, we must continue some tradition that's continued and changed that is uh, uh, a production of results should be non-commercial with the open access tradition. Journals and portals. There's an enormous you know, quantity of journals in, in Latin America. It's in more than many regions, I guess. Uh, that will continue to be, and I hope, and we hope to maintain that tradition because we are convinced that it's a way to move. If the funds will come mainly from the state also, it's the public needs uh, to show transparency in the use of this result. So data should be open. If we have this kind of duplication difference, not it's among our countries and inside our countries, uh, we have to set certain priorities, as I said. Uh, and we say open science is big, as it's an umbrella with open data, open, open notebook, uh, community citizens participation, but we will focus on that part, on scientific data. That's, since that are moving, yes, we have legislation in Peru, in Argentina, that mention software data. And time is running, because the thing that happened is, for example, the legislation in Argentina says five years for data. Okay, time passed, and infrastructure should be set. So we have an urgency. Hmm? Uh, in Chile, there's a diffusion policy, and in Brazil, just uh, last year, was a manifesto also. So you see that countries are taking concrete steps, but there are few data repositories in the region. Sometimes we just know that looking at the directors, directories. What we will do, priority in, on data that validates the publication. If our main history is journals, articles in open access, let's focus on the data that links to those articles. Second, obviously the one generated with public funds. Third, those that came from the MPA or digital management plans. Today we have that in Argentina with CONICET, it's a software to apply and they are seeing that. Some uh, initiative also in FAPES Brazil. So that is, you say, that's our core that we sh should work. We will recommend, we, no, no, we will. We will start to say to <laughs> any repositories in Latin America to use data site for interdisciplinary, version 4.0, that's it. And about license, Creative Commons is the tradition, and we will give the recommendation that you use or CC BY or CC BY non-commercial share alike. That is, please, a recommendation. Use one of those. Technology is open, transferable, and we always have to take action to avoid locking on a single point of failure because of the reason we explained. Things can move, things change. Uh, there are few engineers working on that. We need more engineers. So every distribution of the system is a safety net for us. If it is in the cloud, if it is software or service, that depends on the country. So it's, that's not the point really, uh, uh, it's a national decision, it could be a technical decision, it could be based on a national legislation. The point is avoid that part. And about fair, I think that with this kind of decision, you're going like very clear, like A, B, C, D. Of course, what is missing is what we are going to do with the uh, identifiers. My last two slides, of course, the reference is one, one among many initiatives in Latin America. And uh, 
let me explain what is moving around the region, next to us, or <laughs> in conjunction, or the same actors. Clearly, journals in Latin America are moving to the JAT standard, in metadata. It started the collaboration of Cielo also with the Europe uh, here, with the project also of, of Horizon 2020, that uh, they will be corpus for text mining. So things are moving, good. And uh, was a meeting regarding acquisition, was a meeting of consortia, the Mexican, um, Chilean consortia, uh, well, we big from Brazil, but other actors in Mexico last, last year. There's a public declaration. I will not say the result. You can look at it on the web. But it's basically regarding uh, companies uh, like Xavier, etc. Best practice and start to coordinate to know what's going on in each country. And the next meeting will be in Santiago, Chile. So, and finally, that's the where there's the official declaration in both language on. On, uh, on acquisition policies. And finally, it was a declaration also by some of the actors in favor of a non-commercial approach regarding the scientific production. So you see that it's like the logo. We have also many things going, and not only in La Referencia. This is my last slide. Uh, we will focus. So those will be our priorities regarding data repositories. We will focus on guidelines, obviously, and we will start learning by doing. Like, <laughs> we have to do an archaeology of about the data we have, not in Latin America, but outside Latin America that was produced in Latin America or about Latin America. So, like, Foucault is not a technical, <laughs> a technical issue. It's, it's an, almost an archaeology. Uh, we have to look and start to see where it is uh, to recover that knowledge, or to recover that at least the metadata and hopefully information. We will continue this federated approach. And it's a challenge, but the challenges are good. We, we must work with huge universities in Latin America that have enormous resources also. And we have to deal with universities that have, I don't know, very small that they need help. How we move in that, well, such is life, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks a lot. That's the presentation. In the time, I, I hope that was perfect.